Andy, coach said that you got the butterflies, the <laughs> nostalgia out of the way the first sure. game at Turchin sure. Stadium. But is it kind of cool to you to think that you'll be sharing a regional with your alma mater? Yeah, obviously it's exciting you know, for, for, for that program and for that new staff. Obviously, they've got their team in the NCAA tournament in the first year, so congratulations to those guys, and obviously happy for the for the university that you know the baseball program is back where they want to be. But in terms of you know us getting ready to play here, we're going to be ready to play this weekend. Our guys are so fired up, jacked up, looking forward to the challenge. We're going to be ready to play regardless of who we play. Our guys have one goal in mind, and that's to continue to win the day. You know, regardless of who we play. We're going to bring our best game to the ballpark every day. Our guys are ready. They're fired up. We can't. We wish we could play today. You know, so you know Friday can't come quick enough. Well, I was going to ask you. Your hitters, in particular, I imagine, are chomping at the bit. Sure. Hit the ball against Florida, but yep. couldn't get that one hit that you guys needed at the yeah, right time. Yeah, sure. You know, it's it was it was frustrating for us because you looked up there in the fifth inning. We had nine hits and one run, and and obviously Florida made some plays and they pitched out of some jams. So you kind of give them their credit for doing what they needed to do but at the same time on that bus ride home back to the hotel after every guy to the every man to themselves would knew that we left runners you know we left runs on the board you know we, we did a great job of getting on base we just didn't complete the final piece and driving those guys in so the, our hitters are are chomping at the bit to get back at, in the box at the box this weekend fired up ready to play looking forward to the challenge Kind of looping back around, you're a Louisiana kid yourself. Sure. Knowing that two lanes in, UL, L's down the road, Southeastern could have been here. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a resurgence in Louisiana oh, baseball. It, Louisiana baseball, it, 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 it speaks for itself. You know, you've got major programs here that have had tremendous track records, records of success in the NCAA tournament, getting to Omaha. Um, and so to have that many teams representing the state with Southeastern that could have gotten in, that probably deserved to get in on their body of work, um, but unfortunately it didn't happen for them. Just speaks to the level of you know competition that we play day in, day out in the regular season. All of our midweek games are against those type of teams. So, you know, you're certainly battle tested by the end of the season and, and, and we're just ready to, really ready to get back out on the field and play.